Hello again, it is I, Derek from Tomcat Gas Training, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the easy way on how to replace the left or the right hand side hydro block in a Worcester 25i ERP combi boiler. Anyway, no messing about on the intro today, so let's get on with it. Next thing I'm going to remove, because I know you want me to, shall we take out the full hydro block assembly at the bottom, shall we? Now the first thing obviously would be to isolate all the pipework underneath the boiler. Because um, we're going to be actually taking this out and we need to put a drain on here and we need to drain. So it's just that twisting, that's the drain there. So that's open. So we just need to drain it from there first to get rid of all the water. Now obviously there's still going to be quite a bit of water left inside here. So always make sure we've electrically isolated it and we've protected the um, PCB. But this does have, looks like a good cover down here to protect it. We've isolated all the water. We've drained the boiler. As you can see, I've already removed the condensate trap from here. So you can see everything that's going on. But this is how we remove this trap. Now removing the trap, all we've got to do is, first of all, unscrew this screw here, this Phillips screw, until it starts to drop down. You can see it dropping down. You don't have to take it all the way out. Then, get the screwdriver out of the way. We have to move it across, whoops, <laughs> until it's in line, and then it should slide out for us. Which it has done. Now I would always empty this first and you can empty it just by undoing that clamp on that side there obviously making sure you've got a bucket underneath to collect all the, the water so you can see there is still some muck and water in there. So that's removing the uh, condensate trap. Now we need to get rid of all the electrical connections so obviously there's an NTC there which needs to come off we need to take the pump connection off Any more connections? We need to move the electrical connection off the diverter valve. We've also got the flow turbine connector here, which we can undo. So that's undone. We need to take out the pressure gauge. So we just need to undo the connection there and take the pressure gauge out, which is easy enough. And we also need to take out the expansion vessel connection. So let's undo that one. And I might have to undo the nut at the top to be able to get that out. I think I do. Yep, that's out. Came out quite easy. Now then, we need to undo all the connections. Obviously these are undone, so we need to undo all the connections at the bottom here. So, except the gas, we don't need to do the gas. There's the cold water connection. Just make sure they're unclipped. That's the return connection. Okay, so, looking good so far. Now, next thing we need to do is, these clips here, we need to squeeze them together, the two clips, and move it anti-clockwise till it comes off. So that's that one off. Let's try and get on this one. So they're off. Now next thing we need to go and release the pressure relief valve connection. So that's down. And then the next thing we need to do is undo the two securing screws, which holds in the hydro block. So it's one here. Thank you. 
and then we need to do the one on this side here So I should now be able to get this out, so there it goes. So it says, let's go that side first. Like so. And it says take this side out on the right hand side. Now see the connection for this pump. Oh, just pulls out. It's out. Wasn't that hard, was it? Now before I put it all back together again, these are the connections here where the flow and return go on to. So I guess you would be needing to change those. When you were doing a thing like this. But all the other O-rings seems to be fine. So that would be my only concern. Would be those O-rings. Anyway. Let's get it back. And as you can see. It's all back together. And it was actually easy. Getting it back in. Than it was getting it out. The only problem I found was. Sliding the pressure relief valve. Back into that little. Well into position basically. But um, I, once I got that lined up, everything just went in dead easy. Everything went back together dead easy. Now it's easy for me to do that, there's no water. So it was completely drained, no water came out of it. So uh, that's the only difference. So just watch out for that water. So that's the end of my video on the look at this Worcester 25i ERP condensing combi boiler. So, as usual, if you've liked this video, why don't you give me that thumbs up because it shows me you care. Or leave a constructive comment down below because it helps with my channel. If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because I release videos mainly on a Wednesday. All I've got left to say is, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, guys. Cheers.